Cybernetics and Psychology, Revised Edition, Behaviorism versus Cybernetics. Behaviorism is based on scientific materialism and sees the world as objects driven by forces. Therefore, its relationship to people is instrumental. It sees people as objects to be manipulated. Cybernetic views people as agents. Thus, people gather information about their environment in order to choose appropriate behavior in order to achieve internal goals and values. Cybernetics discusses those things whose existence is denied by behaviorism, ideas, values, and choices. Thus, it sees human relationships as conversations. Communication is harmony. Psyche as a control system. A control process consists of four constituent processes. Agents act on the environment in order to achieve results. They then use some sense or sensor to translate the external results into internal information or perceptions. They then evaluate the results to see how close they are to the intended results or values. They then choose from the available options the one best suited to achieve the wanted results. Act, sense, evaluate, choose. A control process is a decision-making process. In a control system, power is the ability to make a decision. The feedback loop. Feedback was one of the major discoveries of cybernetics. Control systems are not linear cause and effect processes driven by forces. Instead, they use information about the results of their actions to adjust their actions. Thus, Norbert Wiener could build an automated anti-aircraft gun. Arturo Rosenbluth showed that what looked like the mechanical operation of your arm was in fact controlled by a feedback process that adjusted the movement of the arm based on information about its position. When that information process was disrupted, the movement became jerky and uncontrolled. Many unconscious processes that seemed mechanical are actually information processes. Matter and energy are the media of information and communication. Information is choice. For a more extensive discussion of this, see the videos Information is Choice Part 1, Information is Choice Part 2, or The Logical Theory of Information. Because information is choice, information is logical. Information creates categories and the boundaries of systems. Because information is categorical, it is hierarchical. Because information is choice, it can function as a command. Information is another word for an idea. A cybernetic control system is an information process. Because information is a choice, it can function as a command or program that translates one form of information into another. Sensing uses models to translate changes in the environment into perceptions. Evaluating uses values to translate perceptions into evaluations or needs. Choosing uses options to translate evaluations into action. And acting consists of the environment translating actions into changes. Models, values, options, and the environment are the translation processes that constitute the program that controls the control process. The psyche is a system. A system is defined by a boundary that separates the system from its environment. The system has an identity. Although it can contain things found in the environment, it has a distinct identity. System boundaries are permeable. 
but once something enters the system, it functions as a part of the system. Systems are wholes with parts. Cooperation. When two self-controlled systems meet, they communicate through their shared environment, and they become part of a larger whole that contains them both. This process of communication and symbiosis allows information systems to evolve and grow new and more complex and more abstract forms. The relationship ladder. It, it, object relations. I, it, instrumental relationships. I, you, authority relationships, communication. I, thou, negotiated relationships, agency, we, family relations, holism, or we, community, holarchy. Functional roles. The whole is also a control process. The individuals will begin to define functional roles to achieve a more effective control process for the whole. Thus, a family has family models, family values, and family options, and it acts cooperatively. Thus, you have the roles of father, mother, child. Hierarchical systems. Because information is categorical, it is also hierarchical. As a whole is made up of parts, so each of the parts is a whole to its own parts. Arthur Kessler coined the term holon to describe this dual quality of wholes. Thus a body is made up of systems, which is made up of organs, which are made up of tissue, which are made up of cells. Since the parts are themselves wholes, they form nested holarchies. Matter and energy models, because they are linear, are essentially flat earth models. Perception is the perception of difference. Perceptions are choices. Perceptions are information. Consciousness. Because they are information, we can become aware of our sensory perception, our emotions, our actions, and our internal dialogue and translate them into mental processes. Language is a translation. Because information can be translated it can be translated into language. Self-conscious or reflexive decision-making takes the process to the meta level. Since programs are information, we can become aware of the programming and make decisions about the translators, exploring options, researching possible results, and defining criteria. Problem solving is control at the meta level. Every problem is a decision waiting to be made. What are the options expressed in the dilemma? Apply appropriate models. What are the probable results of each option? Every decision is an exercise in values clarification. What are the values implied by the options? Then a decision will emerge. Change at the meta level. Because the translation processes are information, they can be changed. Models need to accurately reflect the changes in the environment and accurately predict the results of our actions. We need realistic models, truth. Values need to be healthy values that will promote the effective functioning of the system, ethics. Our options need to have requisite variety to deal with the complexity of the problems we have to solve. Skills, technology. We can look at traditional psychiatric disorders
or an extreme distortion involving an obsession or addiction. Options. Dysfunctional options will give us a distorted picture of our alternatives, which can be a sense that there is only one option, compulsion, or a sense that there are no options, depression, or infinite options, mania. Emotions are the result of our models and our values. We are aware of our emotions and the physical changes in our body before we are aware of their source. As mammals, we have programmed chemical message responses. In survival situations, there is no time to think. Emergency training creates a set of automatic programmed responses so that in the emergency, no time is lost thinking. In order to control emotions, it is necessary to dissociate, to observe the emotions. In some therapies, the act of dissociation itself is considered the therapy. In other therapies, the dissociation allows the person to change their models, values, and or perceived options. The negative circle. In working with families, we found that the major struggle was with emotions. People were overwhelmed with feelings, fear, guilt, depression, anger. We found that negative emotions formed a cycle. People would move from one negative emotion to another as though it would solve the emotion. Fearful people would shift to blaming themselves. Guilty people would become depressed and hopeless to escape the guilt. Depressed people would get angry at others to relieve the depression. But living in a world of evil people is a very frightening thing. The negative emotions would just reinforce each other. Each person also had their habitual spot. The positive circle. Rather than move around the negative circle, it was necessary to move to a positive circle that would reinforce positive emotions faith, love, hope, joy. Fear is a negative view of the world. Faith is a positive view of the world. Guilt is blaming others. Love is forgiving others. Depression is feeling trapped. Hope is having some possibilities. Anger is a way of being in the world. Joy is the alternative way of being in the world. Changing our models and our values can change emotions. Our choice of models and values determine whether we look at the future with fear or with faith. Our choice of models and values determines whether we look at the causes with guilt and anger or love and forgiveness. Our choice of models and values determine whether we look at the options with despair or with hope. These frequently work together as a syndrome. For example, obsessive compulsive disorder. Model. I don't remember locking the door. Perception. Did I lock the door? Obsessive. Value. I should lock the door. Need. I need to lock the door. Anxiety. Option. My only option is to check. That will relieve my anxiety. Action. Check to see if it's locked. There are a number of places to intervene in the syndrome. A memnonic device. Take a picture of yourself locking the door. Change the value. It would be nice to lock the door, but I don't have to. Add an option. I can ignore the lock and enjoy the anxiety. The pharmaceutical industry recommends drugs that will dampen the anxiety messages. Cognitive therapies. A great deal of work has been done on what are called cognitive or talk therapies that use communication to work on information processing programs. Martin Seligman's Positive Psychology and his work on happiness. David Burns and Feeling Good, the new mood therapy. Richard Bandler and John Grinder, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming.